take breaks every three hours. All right. Um, Waste not Arc Light Phoenix, Demigod of Revenge, Liliana's Caress. There's there's a lot of modern staples going on here. So we've got Electro Dominance to help us cast Wheel of Fate, as well as make casting multiple spells in the turn to get Phoenix back reasonable. We have Demigod of Revenge here that says when you cast this spell, return all cards named Demigod of Revenge from your graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, Waste Not has text that does things, so let's just let's just jump into it, shall we? It's doing it's doing stuff and things. This deck has um, outside of Electro Dominance, this deck has exactly zero interaction in the main deck. I guess cut to ribbons is technically interaction. So we got six pieces of slow clunky interaction. We're trying to just kind of floop our thing and floop faster than they do. Rock and roll. Prof Dr. Mister, thank you for the and half a year of support. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. And Barack, thank you for the two months. I really appreciate you sending those way this way again. Welcome back. I have a Faithless Looting, an Arclight Phoenix, and a Red Land. Or as I like to call it, Modern Keep. <clears throat> Cut to Ribbon seems awkward in this deck. Isn't that like the theme song of this deck? This seems awkward. I like, I like that you looked at the deck list of cards that was in front of you and concluded that Cut to Ribbons was the awkward card. <laughs> Loot it and loot it and loot it and loot it again. Yikes! I'm gonna play Steam Vents tapped on one. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe our modern staple Waste Knot is going to generate us lots of mana with which to ribbon. Ooh! This card, this is just like main deck faithless looting hate right here. Cast your looting opponent. I dare ya. It deals four. Do it. Cast a faithless looting. I dare ya. I double dog dare ya. Reach is now a burn spell. What gas? This activates to deal two. That's just good, clean living right there. Good, good, clean living. Oh, yeah. Loot me, baby. Triggers. Boros charm you. It's like better ram and hap runes. Cut. Cut would be a good draw. I would like to cut this thing in the ice. That is until they play their main deck surgical extraction, get rid of my arc light phoenixes, and then hit me for 10 this turn. Who's got two thumbs and is ready to get main deck surgical extraction? This guy right here. Why does the sideboard only have 14 cards? Does it only have 14 cards?
It does, in fact, only have 14 cards. Is that my mess up or the person who sent it in? Uh, the person who submitted this deck submitted a 14 card set. Oh, look! Main deck surgical extraction. Woo! Modern! Woo! Modern! Yay! Yay, Ted B. It's exciting, Crater Dem. That's super, super close to like, uh, to like indie. It's very relatively close to where I live too. I'm about 45 minutes uh, northwest of there. Infamous Okabaki, thank you for the three month resub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Soon will be the. That's true. The Kaya surgical memes are coming. All right, our surgicals and our fatal pushes are good. Our Ravens crimes are not. I genuinely don't know what else I'm supposed to cut. Burning Inquiry, maybe, I guess. I guess. Maybe. Their hand's probably empty. I'm going to get rid of this and keep the Burning Inquiries. Do I have a link to my blue-green aggro best of one deck? It's really bad against Mono White. But no, I don't, I don't have a link offhand. I never played it on stream. I just tweeted it. Did I tweet it? I definitely posted it in the subs discord. Do we want anger? I don't know. I feel like I'd rather just have push and surgical and I'm kind of an engine deck so I don't really want to oversight board. Keep. What's an engine deck? That's a good question. Engine deck refers to a deck that's based around key, a key card or component to kind of get a series of plays going. I got you, Carlos. The Whistler, cashing in that Twitch Prime again. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Hope you're having a fantastic Friday and a good start to your weekend. This hand has two cards that should be banned in modern keep. Ain't that the truth? Okie dokie. Okie dokie. This is the part where we draw. We want to draw Wheel of Fate. This is the part where we draw Wheel of Fate, right? I'd like to spin the wheel. At least they took the Demigod and not the Phoenix. They have a second surgical, don't they? Don't do it. Have a heart. Have a heart. Don't do it. Now, now, we play a minimum of two matches with every deck. So if this one gets dumpstered very quickly, we still have one more. I think I wait a turn here. Waiting a turn gives me two draws and a one mana spell. Get my, get my Phoenix back. And like the problem here is that like, even if I hit like a wheel, I don't actually do anything, right? Cause I like, I don't have a, a, a caress or a waste knot in play. Oh, they don't have a land. Well, that's incredibly lucky. All right, now I'm gonna Faithless Duding and ditch this other Phoenix since I've got time since they're fumbling and bumbling. All right, so we're going to put six power into play next turn. And hope that's good enough.
Ooh. Oh, this is only for opponents, right? I have, I have, I have Burning Inquiry. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna looting first because I don't want a burning query. My looting away by mistake. Spin the wheel. So they've been to creature and two non land non creatures. All right, we did the thing. We might be getting on the scoreboard because our opponent missed their second land. All right, so inside of my opponent's draw step here, I'm going to surgical their birds. I'm doing it inside of their draw step because this way if they draw a bird for the turn, we get to get the card they drew. This is a little bit of a liability because they could have a dispel or a spell pierce, I guess. Wow, they still don't have a second land. Feels good to be a gangster. We so we so good at this, chat. We so good at this. This birdie is lethal next turn. We're the superior Phoenix deck. We are, we're going to game three, okay? Don't get, don't count your chickens before they're thoroughly hatched. I wonder how much better this deck gets if you just like cut the silly waste knot package and just like play hollowed one. All right, well, we just discarded two lands out of their hand. So here's hoping they missed their second land drop again this turn. That would be, would be delicious for the home team. I really hope that pause was them destroying their keyboards. They discarded both their lands. Rats, we're so unlucky, chat. Why are we, why are we just the gosh darned unluckiest? I agree. The the S Premier matches where they're purely decided based on who draws fewer fatal pushes were a real a really rancid part of watching the Mythic Invitational. Did not was not a display of interesting magic or skill, in my opinion. Alright, so we'd like to draw a land next turn so we can go Morphos into Dominance into Burning Inquiry. Who, uh, anybody else who's double watching the Mythic Invitational, who's locked for top 16? Have they locked any people? They should be, they should have a number of people locked by now, right? Group, group C should be done. Who do we, who is in? Savic made it. That's awesome. Duke made it. Okay. 
I hope Savitz comes back and streams some more magic stuff. He hasn't... I... When I... When they posted the Invitational stuff, I looked. He hadn't streamed magic in, like, almost two months. He does... He did some good stuff, so I hope... I hope... Hope he does well in the tournament and feels inspired to come back and stream some more. This is for the Turbo Niv deck I submitted the other day. We'll do Derelict. Thanks for the biddies. Get that edit after I'm all done today. Okay. All right. We're... I think we're kind of doing it. I think I think we're kind of doing it. I didn't hit I didn't hit any copies of I didn't hit any lands out of their hand oh you know what I probably should have I probably should have waited to play the land so that way I could have had a red source here yeah, I probably should have waited to play the land. I actually don't mind the double elimination structure. I saw some people complaining about it being double elimination, but if you think about it in a lot of ways, most Swiss tournaments are double elimination anyways. You're effectively eliminated from top eight when you take your second loss mathematically. So I think the tournament being double elimination is fine. The awkwardness with no draws and the time drowns could maybe be, maybe be better, but at the, at the same time, I did think it was kind of sweet justice that, like, Jerry Thompson played, like, infinite garbage time in in that one match. And then, like, he he ended up losing to time. Like, I thought, I thought that was, like, you know, he, like, all the players, whether or not you think the rule is good or not, both, both players knew the rule going in and, like, managing the clock is part of it. That being said, because the tournament's digital, in my opinion, the ideal timer for arena tournaments would be MTGO round timers, but with the asterisk that you still have the arena rope prompting you to take an action. So basically, I like... The individual timers, but I also want there to still be a rope so players can't just sit there and take flipping forever. That that is what I personally would like to see. I think just straight chess clock is not ideal. Mm, playing this waste not here first might be greedy. I guess let's surgical this and find out. There's two more phoenixes in my bin. Their hand is a bunch of ops. Got it. So I'm going to get a zombie, two mana, and draw a bunch of cards here. And then we're probably, we're probably going to die to these thing in the ice is flipping next turn. So like, this is such a good example of this deck probably just being hot garbage fire. Just like, we're going to like do the thing our deck really wants to do. And it's just like, nowhere near good enough. It's like, look, mom, I'm doing the thing. I'm doing the thing, mom.
I guess we're technically not dead to the flip thing in the ices unless they bolt us. Shoot, maybe, maybe, I think I messed up here. Was I supposed to surgically extract lightning bolt? I think I was supposed to surgically extract lightning bolt. If I would have had one more mana, I could have put Demigod of Revenge into play and killed them. Yeah, I, I just I don't have any I don't have any lines other than just like cast a couple things and then die, right? The the birds are already coming out. I cast surgical. So like I'm getting the birds. The thing the thing I'm trying to figure out is can I not be dead to lightning bolt? And I don't think the I think the answer is I'm dead to lightning bolt. I'm dead I'm dead to bolt plus flip thing. So they cast they cast three other spells plus bolt and then I die. I guess we we're actually kind of close. If we'd have just made one more mana there, the demigod would have been able to put the other demigod to play and kill them. So we just have to hope to not die here. Because the effect's not very good, Dave. The types of decks that play as foretold in Electro Dominance, they are generally, a lot of the times, their, their decks are trying to go a little bit longer. And like, if you wheel of fate most decks in Modern, they're gonna untap and kill you in the mid games or like combo or engine decks. Am, am I dead yet? Working my way towards dead. They only have eight cards in their hand, chat. What are the odds they kill us? Never, never tell me the odds, chat. Never, never tell me the odds. They might die to having to discard. So, Dave, one of the things that you're doing right now, and this is something that's really common, is, like, there really isn't a lot of data on Modern, and, like, the archetype that you're discussing is, like, it's a fringe tier two deck. So I kind of did it too, and I apologize. But the reality of it is none of these decks are very good. So it's kind of silly to say with certainty these decks always play this or never play this. Because, like, these decks aren't really things that people play. Because as, as is, the iterations that exist haven't proven themselves to be good. So it's not like, say, the Phoenix deck where like you go, oh, these are the typical variations of Phoenix, a ton of people play it, and there's a ton of results, right? Yeah, I, I'm waiting to die. They discarded a lightning bolt. Oh, they milled the lightning bolt. Yeah, if they, I think I actually would have won this game if I would have surgical their bolts instead of their faithless lootings. I should have, I should have stopped to count and see, see what my health total was with the double things. I wasn't thinking about them needing the bolt to kill me the following turn. So I think I think there's a chance I actually win that game if I if I surgical correctly. Although, to be fair, they just showed their hand at the end there. If I take their bolts, they still have faithless looting, and then they ditch Phoenixes and kill us with those. So ultimately I guess it, it doesn't really matter. How does how does the colorless land matter, Frags Marty? Where did, where did that matter?
I couldn't looting that turn. I don't think that ultimately ended up mattering. And ultimately, considering their hand, the surgical didn't matter matter, matter either because they would have just faithful looting the birds into play and killed us. Our opponent's playing Dredge. Maybe we can deck them. Oh. Oh, not Dredge. Got it? I think I actually wait on this Burning Inquiry because I have Liliana's Caress. I think, I think we just just Liliana on two and then double double BI after. This is these are these are six balls with the Liliana's in play. Failure. Just her lieutenant. God bless. Why is this deck not running Leyline of the Void? I have no idea. I agree that in general your Faithless Duty deck should probably be playing Leyline of the Void. Yeah, I guess, I guess... Taking a step back and thinking about it, Surgical Extraction does synergize with our Arclight Phoenixes, which is a big deal. My boss would like to know if can hang with the memes in lands.deck. I don't know what that means, Captain Command. So I can deal six to them on my, or 12 to them on my turn three, and then they're gonna kill me on their turn four. Sounds like modern. And no Bantus in the 74. <laughs> the 74. Well. I wish I could lie and say something different, but so far this deck is going as expected. Today might just be National O2 with all the bad decks Jeff accepted two months ago that he shouldn't have day. <laughs> when did this deck get added to the queue? This deck got added to the queue almost two months ago. February 8th. It's a Hog Hoaglandia holiday. Because like... Once we work past this chunk of decks today, like, the decks that are left in the deck queue for Modern are, like, Amulet Titan, Tron, Hardened Scales, Blue Red Storm, JAC, Affinity. Like, there's a lot of, a lot of, like, very reasonable things. Yeah, yeah, JAC's still in the queue. I like that deck a lot. Listen, we got a Burning Inquiry and a Chair. I got an Anger of Gods that's going to go to my discard pile on turn one after I cast this Burning Inquiry. Yeah, modern, modern moving forward once I work through this chunk of things is going to be basically tier one and tier two decks and then Fan of Fear Cord. Because God bless Fan of Fear Cord. Oh, and Narset Cannon. We're not going to not play Narset Cannon because that deck is... 
Hey, look, we put a demigod of revenge in the bin. So if we make it to turn five, we'll get to get two five fours into play. What an incredibly powerful modern synergy. The casters are promoting BM. Come on now. Do I need to read you Jacob's book? Everybody poops. You don't have to be shy. BMs are perfectly natural. You played Hero lately? If so, Abzan Hero is one of my favorite my favorite hero deck right now. In fact, if you go to uh, my articles page on Cool Stuff Inc., I actually wrote an article about it last week, last month. I'm sure they meant BM as bad manners. That's the joke. The gods have been, the gods have been calmed down by the kite sail freebooter. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Hopefully we just draw lands the next two turns. You get to, like, cast pigeon, cast demigod. Rats. Rats. Good news is they only have two power in play until they cast the Stallion's Lieutenant. Okie doke. We have one other anger in our deck. Yay! Two mana enchantments that don't impact the board. Yay. That is that is modern staple Liliana's caress. It is. It is in fact. The Endless Horizons Belcher deck. That deck was sweet. All right. One anger. One last shot. It's the chance to roll. Opportunity comes once in a match time. You better lose yourself in the music the moment you will. Bet you never ever we are dead. All right, well, that, uh, that about wraps that up. My wrap-up segment for this deck is uh, past Jeff made a terrible mistake, and today present Jeff had to pay for it by uh, losing $7 in O2ing. This deck plays a giant pile of individually weak cards that even when they all come together, you don't guarantee to win the game. We had a game earlier today where... We had a game earlier today where we had double Waste Knot in play and cast Wheel of Fate off Electro Dominance and still failed to win the game. So, like, even when all of our bad cards came together, they still aren't good enough. So, yikes. All right. I was only planning to do four decks today, so I need to load up these.